people whistling down there. Creepy, but not as creepy as Pogues run. This place gives me a lot of Pogues Run vibes. So right there, that's the entrance. And as you can see without the light, nothing. Hey. Are you here? Apparently. Can you it just echoes for so long. Smile more. One love bite. Toughness. What does that say? I don't know what that says. Do not call that number. I don't know what that number is, but I would not advise calling it. Because that is the art of the people. Even update how far we are from the entrance. This is a very interesting place. We're all dying. That's the life of the Do you imagine when you die, you go through this place? Ooh, it's the S. The <laughs> Somebody fighting a good fight out That's here. Squat worthy, honestly. Yo, remember we were talking about Half Life earlier at the uh, cement factory? Oh, Pennsylvania really does remind me a lot of Half Life this time of year. Millions of people travel through the superhighway across Pennsylvania every year. This has been the case for many decades. However, the highway has changed many times over the years. A 13 mile stretch of road that traveled through a tunnel was part of Pennsylvania's superhighway until it was rerouted on a more efficient route that went through the mountains. The reroute was finished in 1968 and this Pennsylvania Turnpike was abandoned. In the year 2001, the 13 mile road was given to the Southern Allegiances Conservancy by the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission. However, they haven't done much to change the location since its abandonment. I'm uh, going to take a picture of that so I can follow up on it for uh, research purposes. 
You know, we got to make sure we accurately detail the history of this place, you know. The history. Not three times. Concrete wall. <laughs> and here we are at the end of the tunnel. It got really dark outside, but that's okay. The door beckons. Oh, yeah, that's mold. It's also water, just do a nice little leaky thing. Oops. Well, that's cool. Alien dude. Y'all want to walk up the stairs? Go up above it? Uh, up above it? Yeah. Is it just the building or? Uh, it's up here, whatever's up there, maintenance or something. We need to put on our mat. Yeah. It's a little wet, but I think it'll be fine. Huh. Well, never mind. There goes that idea. What? The, uh... Stairs are gone. Stairs are gone. Yeah, the railing is here, but the stairs are gone. You can see that. You shine your, Nick, shine your light in here. It's a little brighter than mine. I think mine's about to die. Shine oh. it down here so you can kind of see on the camera. The stairs are indeed missing. just kind of continues out that way for a while. Is it like a Warhammer thing or something? That is a Warhammer thing. I just took a random... FOR THE EMPEROR! I took a random guess and I got it. The immortal god emperor of man. Who fights against the forces of chaos and the Tau and the Tyranids. What? I'm only using the tool for oppression. Oh, I know the one you're talking about. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a giant machine in here. There's like a giant machine in here. I have no idea what this uh, big old machine here is for. But it looks really cool. Probably can't see it very well on the camera because it's kind of dark. I don't know if you can see over. Alright. So I head back down. The abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike is a strange relic to the past and an uncertain future. 
Although its post-apocalyptic look makes it really haunting, even being used in the 2009 film Road, its history deserves to be remembered, and now it will never be forgotten. Look, Caleb, I found my home. <laughs> Trash. Hey, should I turn my light off? Nah, that's oh. good.